Okay, doing a little better today with the hand. Oh, it's finished. What I wound up doing was putting the SP1A on the bottom. Okay, because that side over there was just too cluttered up. And I mounted the echo board right there. It's like that spot was made for it. You can see the wiring is a lot better than what it was the other day when I first showed it to you. I need to put some, I had to cut a wire tie out so I could move another wire. So I need to put something back on that. But this is talk back, okay? And this is the SP1. I labeled them for you. Let me get the covers back on it and uh, start the burn in test. So you're gonna like that ten turn clarifier. All right, more to come. Okay, as you can see, I got the LESCOM enhancements done. There's your voltage regulator buffer filter. was upgraded from a 1,000 microfarad to a 3,300 microfarad. There's your DC input buffer filter. It was upgraded from a 1,000 to a 4,700 microfarad. Okay, there's the upgraded filter. That is a 20 or 15 kilohertz wide filter. There's the upgraded first RF amp. I replaced the one that they put in here, which I think is a 2786 or 2876 with a 2SE 2999, which has more gain. All right, of course, you know about the LC6404. You've got five memory positions on it. I think I got something in that one. I think I got channel 38. This is store and this is get. Yeah, when I hit the get button, we go to 38. Okay. Uh, this is scan, which I still got to hook up the squelch thing. I just remembered that. Uh, in fact, I need to go do that right now before I forget it. All right. One last shot of the inside of it. I put the covers on it. Okay, that relay right there, that's your direct key relay for your amp. I still got to label that one. That one hadn't been labeled. I'll get that labeled here in just a second. There's your SP1A and your talkback control. I just simply moved it to the back because the memory switch now takes the spot where this was. Okay, up is on, down is off. You'll run that on most of the time. Okay. All right, let me get that labeled and I'm gonna put the face plate and covers on. All right, she's done. All put together. Uh, uh, I still got to put one more sticker on that, the, the C CSF sticker. We'll go over that because that doesn't do anything with the clarifier anymore because you got the 10 turn clarifier. This tape is just to protect the faceplate. When you get it, take this tape off. Okay, don't leave that tape on there. All right. Uh, let's do some power checks first. Uh, let's see, I got a 50 water on that side and a 100 on that side. So I'm going to be reading on the center scale on the RMS side. And we will be reading on the bottom scale on the peaks side. Okay. Get some to set the camera on. There we go. You should be able to see that in multipliers on times one. All right. Now I'm on AM channel 20. Hello audio, audio 1, 2, 1, 2 audio. Everything's turned off. The SP1A, 
uh, echo, all that stuff's turned off. Okay. Hello audio, audio one two one two audio. That's what about 30, 32, 34 watts RMS. Oh, I have powers all the way up. My gains all the way up. I am on AM. We're dead keying about five watts right there. Audio, hello, hello, audio. You notice it goes forward. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on the SP1A. Now that was just the CP1 is hooked up. It's all on all the time. Okay, now we've got the SP1A on. Hello, audio. Audio one two three four five five four three two one. Audio. See how it's squeezing a little more wattage out of that. Hello, audio. Audio one two one two audio. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on echo. Hello audio, audio one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And let's see this. Reach back here and turn on talk back. Hello audio. Oop, they don't like getting close to that. Might have to turn the mic gain down some. Hello audio. Audio one two one two audio. Audio one two three four five five four three two one. Hello, hello test one two one two test. Turn the mic game down. Hello audio audio one two three four five five four three two one. Audio hello hello audio. I know something's even better than talk back. Turn on another radio right here above it. Audio, hello. Hello, audio. Audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. That's on my gazer right there above it on 205. Hello, audio. Audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to turn the mic gain all the way back up. Hello, audio. Audio, one, two. We do have echo on, and I've got the SP1A on. Now I'm going to reach back here and turn SP1A off. SP1A is off. You hear the difference in the sound? SP1A off. SP1A on. Hello, audio. Audio one two one two audio. It makes a lot of difference. That's why I said you'll probably run with that thing on all the time. Okay. Okay, Mike. I forgot to show you sideband power, so let me do that real quick. Hello, audio. Audio one two one two audio. Hello audio. The settings are the same. Haven't changed anything. Uh, hello audio. Hello hello audio audio one two one two audio. Sound like a auctioneer. All right, buddy. Now let's get down to the operation. On. Let's see. 10 turn clarifier, volume and squelch is down here. You turn the radio on and off down here now. This is your amp control. And what this does is enable that relay I showed you in the back for the direct key port. Now with this guy turned on, the center conductor of that RCA jack is connected to the shield or the case of the radio when you key the microphone with this guy turned on. That's the way most of the amps work. Okay, it just connects the center conductor of the RCA jack to case ground every time you key the microphone. Now, if your amplifier is set up to use that, then every time you key the microphone on the radio, your amp will key automatically. You'll have to have a run a cable between the radio and the amplifier. All right, most ham radios operate that way. Uh, for memory, Okay, you got five memory channels. I'm on channel A. Let's say we want to go down. I uh, got the, sorry about that, had that thing on. That's your lowest channel right there. We want to save that one in position A. You just come down here, 
push in the PA button you see the display go away that means it saved it okay now let's go up to 915 which is a call channel we're gonna put that one in B Come back down here press the PA button again see it goes away and now we've stored that one in B now let's go on up here to what's that uh, let's go to channel 6 and we're going to put channel 6 in C same thing push the PA button in you just stored that frequency let's go to 19 going to put that one in D Okay, now let's go all the way up to 38 so you'll have a sideband channel programmed in there. We're going to put that one in Echo E. All right, now we're on channel 38. Let's go on up to channel 40. Let's say now we want to go all the way down to your bottom channel. You hit the RB button or the Roger Beep button. Presto, you hit that channel. Now let's say you want to go back to 38, rotate the memory select button to echo, hit the RB button. Now you're back on 38. Well, let's see. Now we want to change again. What do we store in C? Channel 6. What do we store in D? We store 19 in D. Okay, so there's your memory channels. You can program them to whatever frequency you want, okay? This is your Galaxy noise filter. A and L noise blanker, you know about all those. What this switch does, and I'll relabel it, I got a sticker that goes over this, is your channel selector function switch. With this pushed in, every time you click the channel selector, the radio jumps 45 channels. Okay? Unless you get all the way to the top, real easy. And all the way to the bottom real easy okay every time you click it it moves 45 channels with this guy pushed in all right when it gets to close to the top and the 45 is more than your highest frequency then it will roll back over to the lowest frequency all right and of course all your a channels are designated by the a Okay, mode switch, self-explanatory, echo control, self-explanatory, 10-turn clarifier. That's sweet right there. You'll love that. Let's see. Let's go to channel 38. All right. I want to go up and talk on 3900. Real easy. But it doesn't stop there. You can continue to turn and go right up past 39. Okay, one channel above, just with the clarifier. Now you can roll it back counterclockwise. Let's say we wanted to talk on 380. There it is right there, 380. Okay, and it slides down about, uh, what? what is that, about seven down. All right, I need to show you the scan function. Uh, first, I got the label put on the CSF switch. Now, what this switch does, I showed you before, you push that in, it changes 45 channels at a time. Okay. All right. This now is your scan control instead of the clarifier because your clarifier is now up here. It's a 10 turn clarifier. So, with this in the 12 o'clock position, you're not scanning. Okay, if you want to scan up, you turn it clockwise one notch. Click one time, and away we go. Okay, now when it detects a signal, it'll do this. Okay, and by the way, you just want to turn the squelch where it just barely closes. The higher your squelch setting, the stronger your signal's got to be for it to stop scanning. Okay. And you can stop it any time by opening the squelch or 
switching it back to the center position. Okay. Clockwise, one notch, scans down. Same thing. And again, move it back to center to stop the scan. Okay, there's your amp direct key. And okay, what I've done, I've set my my meter to emit a tone when it sees a short, and I've hooked one of the probes to the SP1A switch connect or housing, which is connected to the case of the radio. And I have the red lead stuck up inside the middle of that guy. Now, when I key the microphone, we should hear that tone. And there it is. Okay. That's the relay connecting the center portion to the outside portion together. In other words, the center lead is being connected to the case of the radio. Okay. So... It's working and it's uh it comes in handy my both of my uh, big ham radios have that function and i use it a lot because if you ever talk on sideband and you don't have the delay set up just right your relay will unkey before you unkey your radio so you know that ain't no good all right, Mike, I sure hope you enjoy your new radio. It was my pleasure to build it for you. And yes, I say build it because I have to strip these things down to nothing and put them all back together in a different way. 7-3, everybody.